Hi friends, good morning. Today I'm going to introduce what is a hospital rule. What is the advantage of a hospital and the difference between a hospital rule and the remaining methods. Okay, for example, if you take one question, limit x tends to 4, x square minus 16 by x minus 4. We can able to solve this question in three different ways. First way, by using formula method. By formula method, we are going to do this question. Limit to x tends to 4, x square minus 16 can be written as 4 square by x minus 4. This is having involving formula. Since limit x tends to a, x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a is equals to n into a power n minus 1 this is the formula so by using this formula we can able to do very easily that question so that is the formula x tends to a x power n minus a power n by x minus a whenever this combination is there we have to write down n times of a into n power n minus 1 whereas here if you see instead of n 2 is there here 2 into a power a means 4 instead of a 4 value is there and 2 minus 1 that is what 2 into 4 power 1 that is what 8 this is one way to solve this question then coming to the second way limit x tends to 4 x to square minus 4 square by x minus 4 so you can able to solve the same question by using a square minus b square general algebraic formation so a square minus b square can be written as a minus b into a plus b so this is what x minus 4 into x plus 4 whole by x minus 4 then x minus 4 x minus 4 will be cancelled then you are getting x plus 4 instead of 4 if you substitute instead of x if you substitute 4 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 of course by the method 2 also you are getting the same answer now i am going to introduce the shortcut formula that is what l hospital so no doubt at all students by using these two formations the third formation that is l hospital rule that is very very good method why because this kind of all similar questions we can able to solve by using a hospital rule very very easily so what are the rules and regulations to apply a hospital rule is okay first of all let us substitute x value in the given function then what will get it uh, 4 square 16 minus 16 you are getting 0 by 4 minus 4 you are getting 0 Whenever the formation you are getting 0 by 0, then you are going to apply a hospital rule. Hospital rule is, you should apply derivative for the numerator separately, derivative for the denominator separately, that is the rule. So apply derivative for numerator as well as derivative for the denominator. So that is the rule a la hospital. That's what, what is the derivative of x square friends? 2x. What is the derivative of constant? 0. Whole by, whole by limit x tends to 4 is going on here whole by derivative of x1 derivative of constant 0 now x tends to 4 substitute here that is what 2 into 4 that is nothing but 8 friends of course you will feel in the first question maybe this is a difficult instead of comparing this and this i think few people they will like this kind this particular particular method so few people they will like this particular method but of course students a hospital rule is ultimate method you can able to crack 60 to 70 percentage of the problems by using a hospital rule you will get it very easily so what is the difference means for example this question x square minus 4 square is there that's what you written a plus b into a minus b but instead of this for example x power 5 minus 4 power 5 is there that time there is no formula for you friends a power 5 minus b power 5 formula is a minus b into a power 4 plus a q b plus a square b square plus a b power 4 plus b power 4 so that kind of formulas you people cannot able to remember that's what uh, this kind of approach here it is we cannot able to use always next coming to formula also bit okay after a hospital rule we are going to give next priority for formulas so i want to solve few questions by using a hospital rule look at carefully my dear students friends Look at the examples once. If you see first question, limit x tends to 2, x to the power of 5 minus 32 by x minus 2. If you substitute 2 instead of x, 2 to the power of 5 means 32 minus 32, 0 by 2 minus 2, 0. Yes, this is of the form 0 by 0. Whenever that is of the form 0 by 0, we can able to apply a hospital rule. Ella hospital rule is what? Numerator separate to derivative and denominator separate to derivative. That's it. So limit x tends to 2 x to the power of 5 derivative is 5x to the power of 4 32 constant derivative 0 by x derivative 1 and constant derivative is 0 then substitute instead of x the value is 2 5 into 2 to the power of 4 that is what 5 into 16 that is what 80 80 is your answer friends within fraction of seconds you can able to get the answer so now coming to the second question limit x tends to 1 x cube minus 3x square plus 2 by x minus 2 x minus 1 please watch my dear friends whether it is 0 by 0 formation or not 
Yes, absolutely 0 by 0. If you see here, 1 cube 1 minus 3 into 1 square minus 3, 1 minus 3 minus 2 plus 2 0 by 1 minus 1 0. 0 by 0 formation, friends. That's why we can able to, we have rights to apply Allah hospital rule. That's what limit x tends to 1. So what is the Allah hospital rule? Numerator separate derivative, then denominator separate derivative. The derivative of x cube is x square, 3x square minus 3 times of x square derivative is 2x plus constant derivative 0 by 1 x derivative is 1 and 1 derivative as 0 now substitute instead of x as 1 3 into 1 square minus 3 into 2 6 into 1 that is what 3 minus 6 that is equals to minus 3 yes answer this is the answer friends coming to next one limit x tends to minus 1 x power 5 plus 4x plus 5 by x plus 1 now if you substitute instead of x as minus 1 minus 1 whole power 5 minus 1 4 into minus 1 minus 4 that's what minus 1 minus 4 minus 5 plus 5 0 by minus 1 plus 1 0 that's what L hospital we can able to apply here so x to the power of 5 derivative it is from limit x tends to minus 1 x power 5 derivative 5 x power 4 plus 4 x derivative is 4 constant derivative 0 by x derivative 1 now substitute minus 1 instead of x 5 into minus 1 whole power 4 plus 1 this is equals to 5 into minus 1 whole power even number is nothing but positive 1 plus 4 that's what 5 plus 4 9 is your answer friends so I want to explain one more question that is given in the previous examination look at once dear friends this is the question if f dash of 0 is equals to 3 the limit extends to 0 x square by f of x square minus 6 f of x 4 x square plus 5 times of f of 7 x square this is the previous examination question so that's what f dash of 0 equal to 3 given friends means the derivative at x equal to 0 is 3 given then they're asking limit of this value first of all whether we can able to apply a hospital rule in this particular question or not let us check so what is the minimum rule what is the basic rule to check if a hospital exists or not whether it is 0 by 0 formation or not so what is the L hospital rule? Numerator separated derivative and denominator separated derivative. That's it. So x square derivative is 2x whole by. So f of x, the derivative is f of x derivative f dash of x. So f dash of x square into function of function. x square derivative is 2x minus 6 times of. Again, f of x is there. That's what the derivative of f of x is f dash of x. Function of function 4 into x square derivative is 2x plus 5 times of f dash of 7x square into function of function 7 into x square derivative is 2x very simple friends so this is equals to limit x tends to 0 if you observe here 2x 2x and 2x is there so we can able to take common 2x in the denominator then we can able to cancel with numerator so 2x by if you take 2x as common in the denominator f dash of x square we are taking 2x as common minus 6 times of 2x common means 6 into 4 24 f dash of 4x square Plus 2x we are taking common means 35 7 into 5 35 f dash of 3x square, 7x square. so now 2x and 2x get cancelled now let us substitute 0 instead of x that's what 1 by f dash of 0 square 0 minus 24 times of f dash of 0 square into 4 of course 0 f dash of 0 plus 35 times of f dash of same way 0 that is what 1 by so 35 plus 1 36 36 minus 24 how much is what 12 f dash of 0 friends so this is equals to 1 by 12 times of f dash of 0 result given that is what 3 so that is nothing but 1 by 12 into 3 36 the answer is 1 by 36 friends by using L hospital rule this kind of sums also we can able to crack very easily Look at one more example. If f of x is equal to x tan inverse the x, then limit x tends to 1. f of x minus f of 1 by x minus 1. This is also previous entrance examination question only. So, first of all, f of x is given x tan inverse x. Then they are asking limit x tends to 1. f of x minus f of 1 by x minus 1 result they are asking. Look at once whether L hospital is applicable or not. Let us substitute x instead of x. Then f of 1 minus f of 1. Yes, you are getting 0 in the numerator as well as 1 minus 1, 0 in the denominator. Yes, whenever this is of the form 0 by 0, 200 percentage, we can able to apply L hospital rule. So that's what we are going to write. What is the L hospital rule? Numerator separate derivative as well as denominator also derivative. Limit x tends to 1. So f of x derivative is f dash of x 
minus f of 1. f of 1 is a constant value, constant derivative 0, whole by x derivative is 1 and 1 derivative is 0. That's what limit extends to 1, f dash of x. If you substitute x instead of 1, instead of x, you are getting f dash of 1. Yes, friends, f dash of 1 is your answer, friends. Now, what is f dash of 1 result? Look at here. f of x given x tan inverse x. If you apply differentiate with respect to x, f dash of x is equals to u into tan inverse x derivative 1 by 1 plus x square plus tan inverse x into x derivative is 1. Just friends, I applied in derivative of u. Derivative of u v is nothing but u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. That's what you are getting. x by 1 plus x square plus tan inverse x. Now you want friends, f dash of 1 result you want. That's what take instead of x as 1. So 1 by 1 plus 1 square, that is what 2 plus tan inverse of 1. So this is equals to 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 1 is nothing but pi by 4. Just you substitute here, 1 by 2 plus pi by 4, then you are getting take LCM 4, that's what uh, 2 plus pi. So the answer is pi plus 2 by 4 is your answer. That's what third option is correct answer. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. That's all for today's class.